I became a police officer unlike the standard answer, you know, to help everybody and, and try to save the world. I generally had a concern for my fellow man and how uh, we interacted with each other. I decided to go into the military to become a police officer in the military. That's where I started. And then I got out of the military and continued my civilian law enforcement career until I um, obtained my peace officer certificate. I always started at a motorcycle dealership in 1999 and uh, I left the motorcycle dealership because I was tired of retail and all of that stuff and I wanted to give this profession a, a try as long as they would allow me. I received a mailer from a local police department about a Citizens Police Academy. It was one day a week. I said, you know, this would be fun. Spoke with uh, Sergeant Smith at the time and he gave me encouragement that uh, I'm not too old and that uh, the police department needs people like myself. So I went and they went all out. They took you to the gun range, driving school, narcotics identification. And when I was in the course, I thought, you know, this, this is what I was meant to do. This is my calling. I started off um, working with the state and working crimes against children and decided that law enforcement was the route I wanted to go. So I came to Pflugerville and I did my four years on patrol, uh, working towards being a detective and wanting to work strictly crimes against children. I became a police officer um, because that's what I've always wanted to do. I remember when I was young, I used to always be the one that's playing with police cars. Uh, I was playing the cops and robbers with my friends. So uh, it's always something that I've always wanted to do. And then growing up, my sister was in law enforcement. So that kind of led me to that path and kind of made me realize that that's really what I wanted. The favorite part is it's different every day. I wake up and come to work and I, not, I don't know what I'm going to deal with that day. Every day is an opportunity to help somebody and make a difference in the community. Every call is different. It might be a similar circumstance, but it's different in some little way because you're dealing with different people, different things, um, and that I love. No day is the same, ever. The way young children see the uniform and approach you and they get that uh, look of, uh, of wonderment Kids that walk up to you to want a high five, the ability to give a sticker, uh, people in need that need your assistance, or and that could be anything from catching a bad guy, resolving conflict, or just giving someone some advice about what's going on in our community. It's always good to see kids years down the road. You know, you, you deal with them and then you see them two or three years down the road, especially juveniles. It always like touched my heart to see the kids do something with their lives, graduate from high school, because there's a lot of kids that are disadvantaged. And I, when I first started the career, I, I wanted to take all them kids home and fix them because I have a huge heart, but I knew I couldn't. The satisfaction um, of closing cases and helping those victims out. Victims coming up to you and thanking you for what you're doing and, and helping, him, helping them find closure to their case. There was a girl that I had pulled over on a traffic stop that probably should have gone to jail. Uh, with no insurance, her license was not valid. In tears, gave me the whole gamut of her situation and she's trying to make ends meet and worked at a local gas station, this, that, and other. Um, didn't take her to jail, didn't tow her car, um, let her go with some citations um, for reasons that she had already told me, you know, of the situation that she was in and I felt like taking her to jail would have not been a good fix for her, you know what I mean? And uh, she like ran up to me at this lunch we had at St. Liz at the church and like gave me a huge hug and like showed me her license that she had got, you know, reinstated and everything and thanked me so much for not taking her to jail on that day and stuff of that nature, you know. So to me inside, that was a really cool moment for me because she was in a bad place, you know what I mean? And for her to come up to me like with her license that was reinstated and now current again, and uh, car insured and the whole nine yards was a really cool moment for me because of what I had done on that day. I was officer for about two years and we received a 911 call about a three week old not breathing. Uh, I was 
not that far away and I responded lights and sirens as fast as I could to get there and I was the first one there. Uh, when I pulled up, the family was in the driveway holding a, a lifeless child. I ran over and started CPR. As I was going through the chest compressions, they were watching me crying, just praying, and, and I was worried. I went through the second chest compression and the baby started coughing and crying and a big relief came over me. Uh, a couple minutes later, ambulance pulled up, they handed them the baby, they took it to the hospital for evaluation, but I called two hours later and they said the baby was doing good. Uh, I don't know if I was the difference, but it's, it's always stuck with me. I have several stories in a 20-year career uh, that make my job, but the one that constantly keeps coming up for conversation is uh, when I delivered a baby in a small car. Well, I was early in my career, and there was a call on the radio of an assist EMS. Uh, as I turned on the street where this incident was taking place, I heard a blood-curdling scream for assistance. As I approached uh, the residence uh, where the call came out, uh, I heard another scream uh, coming from the rear of this small sedan. As I approached that, and I was eagerly awaiting the arrival of, of uh, an ambulance or EMS. I uh, found out at that time that that child was not going to wait on that. And so, uh, with the assistance of the mother-to-be, uh, we both were successful in bringing forth her daughter into the world in the back seat of a small sedan. I have goals. In two years, within two years, I will be a corporal. Within five years, I will be a sergeant, and then I will be a lieutenant. Within, I want to say, before I leave, I have, I'm 45 years old. So in 10 years, I want to be a commander. I will be a commander before I leave here, because I'm not going anywhere else. For me, it was a, I had a good feeling about this place, and that's what made me. That's what made me follow through and and stick with it. And I'm here. The camaraderie here at this police department, uh, the fr the kinship and family atmosphere has always been there. And more importantly, just the community itself, the way they embraced uh, the profession, uh, me, uh, and allowed me to be the best I could be as a police officer here in Pulikerville. Our vision ultimately is to embrace our diverse community and I find that to be empowering and the ability to go out and interact with the community who appreciates us is very important and now it's time for us to reach out to the community and ask them to come work for us, be a part of that, help us, help our department um, reflect the city that we're working for and um, it's exciting to see and that's what we need. Future officer, I'm talking to you. I am speaking to you right now. If you're watching this, that means you're interested in law enforcement and you want a journey. You want the right journey. We are the agency for you because integrity, hard work, and professionalism are the cornerstones of a successful law enforcement career. There's a culture change in this organization going on right now. If you want to be part of that team and you want to make a difference and you want to make great things happen for your community, Pflugerville Police Department's where it's at.